Hi everyone, I'm here with Ed Armitage, software engineer at Ocado Technology. Ed, could you let us know what your job's about? My job is all about helping computers to tell the boxes where they need to go in our state-of-the-art warehouses. This means that I help program the miles and miles of conveyors and equipment in the warehouses to make sure the customer shopping gets to the right places at the right times. I also fix any problems that arise with the computers and equipment in the warehouse. What's next in the app for us all? The next section of the app you will be learning about is how to use functions. If you had to get from one side of your classroom to the other, you wouldn't think to yourself, I have to take one step with my left foot, then another with my right, and then repeat that ten times. You just think, I walk across. Functions let you name a new block, which makes all the instructions to the computer much simpler. Function blocks contain a series of commands, which means you don't have to write out each one of the steps every single time. So if you wanted to cross the classroom, you could put the move forward instruction inside a repeat block and make it repeat ten times. Once you've done that, you can put those instructions inside another block and call it cross the classroom. That way, in the future, you just need to use a cross classroom block and the computer will know what steps you wanted to take. When you're using code, functions are really important. They cut down loads of time because they mean you don't have to write hundreds of thousands of lines of code, you just use the function. But you have to make sure you give all your functions very clear names, otherwise it's really easy to lose them. Thanks, Ed. I'll make sure I name them carefully. Functions seem to be really useful. How do you think you could put them into a real-life situation? 